It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you. Good, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, well, the midterms are only a month away, and is it just me or are some candidates trying to lose? <laughs> Let's start in Pennsylvania with Dr. Oz, seen here telling the audience how many minutes he's lived in Pennsylvania. <laughs> A review of scientific studies published by Dr. Oz revealed that his experiments killed over 300 dogs, but eventually he got the recipe right. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Oz has refused to comment on the report that his research killed over 300 dogs, though it's possible he couldn't hear the question over the wood chipper. <laughs> But don't worry, <laughs> Dr. Oz won everybody back last night when he gave a speech in front of Hitler's car. <laughs> Worse, he then got into the car and backed over a dog. <laughs> Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker denied reports that he paid for a girlfriend's abortion saying, I send money to a lot of people before adding, you know, for abortions. <laughs> After the news broke that Walker paid for his ex-girlfriend's abortion, he raised more than $500,000 because dollars are the only thing Walker is willing to raise. <laughs> Florida governor and Dallas Cowboys cheerleader Ron DeSantis... <laughs> explained why so many residents failed to evacuate, saying some people just don't want to leave their homes, which is why sometimes you have to trick them onto a plane to Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> During the trial of Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rhodes, whose beard is patchier than his eye, pro <laughs> prosecutors played a recording of him saying that his only regret about the January 6th attacks was not bringing rifles, which sounds like an obvious confession of guilt, but try looking at things from Rhodes' perspective, with little to no depth perception. <laughs> <laughs> this week, President Biden pardoned thousands of convicted marijuana users, and it feels like maybe he celebrated with them a little, because yesterday, Biden gave a speech at a car factory and opened with this. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. <laughs> wow. Well, let me respond with two words. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> Biden was then heard criticizing reporters at the White House for shouting questions at him. Questions like, what year is it? And who's the current president? <laughs> also, they weren't reporters. They were doctors. <laughs> Kanye West appeared on Tucker Carlson's show to defend wearing a White Lives Matter shirt, claiming he wore the shirt because he was using a gut instinct. But what he's definitely not using are the meds prescribed to him. <laughs> a British pilot created the largest ever portrait of Queen Elizabeth by drawing her outline on a flight path over the country. Let's see a picture. <laughs> Wow, that's, wow, that's a, st a stunning likeness. <laughs> she, she always was smiling. Plan, Planned, Parenthood, Planned Parenthood says it will soon open its first mobile abortion clinic in the country, which will make it easier to provide care to patients anywhere in the country that Herschel Walker has visited. 